Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Kotsen, and I'm Dennis, and today what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a custom email domain using Apple's iCloud and on any register that you've got your domain registered to. In my case, it's going to be Cloudflare. Recently, Apple came out with iCloud iCloud Plus, which is uh, for anybody who is on their pay subscriptions to their iCloud plan. And as you know, that they offer a 5 gig free plan, but that's really not a lot if you got any kind of videos or uh, pictures or anything. So if you subscribe to their plans, and I'm going to go ahead and remove myself from here and I'll kind of give you an idea. If you subscribe to their plans, they came out with this new thing called iCloud Plus, which give you a lot of new features for free and it, other than the paid subscription, which you're paying anyway. Now, I'm not going to go into all these new these features, but while I will tell you, there's a, a little hidden plan that they got or something that they don't really talk much about see and here's the iCloud plus so if you're subscribing to anything 50 gigs are up this is pretty much free with it and iCloud allows you to set up a custom domain and use their infrastructures to send and receive emails so I'm going to show y'all how to do this. Now, what I need everybody to do is go ahead and go to your registrar. And in my case, it's going to be Cloudflare. And as you can tell, I'm going to set up today my digitalstorm.io. And I've got it set in here. And everybody knows how hard it is to set up custom domains or for emails using Cloudflare. Cloudflare do not proxy any email through their system and you would basically have to go through their D, you know just dns only which is fine but this is another alternative and once you get into your dns server or your dns names and stuff off of your register and i need you to go to icloud.com so i just go to the icloud.com <clears throat> excuse me and it will bring you to a site similar to what looks like mine then i need you to click mail and when you get into your mailbox it'll bring you to a screen that you can check your mail and stuff like this and then what i need you to do now is go to the cogwheel or your gear and click it and that will bring up this particular little section and on the preferences and what i want you to do then is go to accounts and as you could tell it brings you in here i've already got one custom main set up and that is dennis at kotzen.com so as you could tell it is allowing me to set up th uh, three or i got one custom domain set up but i think if i'm read this right you can set up five different custom domains and under the five custom domains you could put three different aliases so what i need everybody to do now is just go to this where it says icloud settings and click it and when you do it'll bring you to your screen where you manage your all your uh, storage your devices and everything like this it's called your iCloud settings and if you look at the very bottom you'll see custom email domain and that's where we're going today we're going to go into our custom email domain so go ahead and click manage and when you click manage it'll bring this particular custom domain or email domain a little screen up and as you tell, I got one domain, and what I need to do is add a custom email domain. So go ahead and click add a custom domain you own. Now, this here is what you could either set it up for yourself or you or your family. So even your family would have access to this particular thing if you're subscribed to their family share. 
but I'm just going to set it up for me only. So I'm going to go ahead and click this particular spot. And again, it'll bring me to another little tab. And this is where I'm going to enter my domain. In this case, in mine, it's going to be digitalstorm.io. But whatever yours is, is go ahead and enter it there. And click continue. It's standing up. There we go. It says instructions setting up your iCloud. They went on email. Need the instructions. Of course, we done step one. We added. It says add existing email addresses. So at this time, I'm not got any email addresses existing. So I'm going to skip this step, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure step three is set up by updating my domain register and so just click view now and after you click manage it'll bring you into this section of course this has already been emailed to you too so you should have it you're going to have some mx records to set up it's going to have at least two and you're going to have a text record that's going to contain certain codes another text record for your SPF and a C name for your DKIM. So what we need to do is basically go and copy this information over to your registrar. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you the first two and that way we will be able to just do that and I will pause it from the rest. What I'm gonna do is copy my value are my mx1 dot icloud and i'm going to go back over to my register and i'm going if you're on icloud click add record and when you do that it'll bring you into this spot where you got to pick the type now again this is going to be my mx record so i'm going to click mx and i'm going to use kotson or correction digital storm so that's going to be my root so all I need to do is put the at symbol. And as you could tell, it automatically put digitalstorm.io. The next thing I need to do is paste the mail server here and then put priority, which will be number 10. That's the priority that Apple wants us to set and just click save. So I'm gonna paste my mx01 mail.com or icloud comment i'm going to put priority 10 and click save now i'm going to show you one more and then right there i'll pause it and finish it up and you do the same and this is basically another mx record and you can basically go through and do the same thing all the way through on your records it's not that hard if you have any problem you can email me or text me so let me see we're gonna go down do it mx we're gonna do this one we're gonna click it all right and a priority 10. when you get it all set up you should have a c name in place two text files two mx files so that's what you should follow if that and that's where we're at and once you get through with that, go back over to your iCloud and click back or the next button. It'll bring you into this little section where we already done number three. And now we need to finish setting up the domain. So number four. So what I need to do is go ahead and click finish. And now I want to confirm that you're updated your record. Okay, and once it updated, make sure your records are updated. You will either get a error telling you there was something wrong with it in my case i had got an error and what it was is those uh quotation marks that was on that particular uh text that i had to take off and so if you get that on your i think it's your spl or whatever just take the quotation marks off and then click continue and you'll get set up says your domain is ready to use with uh, icloud so click continue okay now what we need to do y'all we're at our domain it's set up in my case is digitalstorm.io and what i need to do is add an email address so go up here click the plus button 
and add your new email address. In my case, I'm going to put in Dennis at digitalstorm.io. You put whatever you want for yours, but mine's going to be Dennis at digitalstorm.io and click add email address. Now we are set up. Well, I'm already got two domains set up. I got Kotzen and I got Digital Storm. Yep, see, it's already asking me, do I want Digital Storm to be in an iMessage? And that's the, the good thing about this particular thing here. Anything you can do with uh, iCloud, and it syncs it with, you can use this into your iMessage, your texting, everything that you've got Apple products and your Apple, if you're an Apple user, it pretty much syncs it with all your devices. It syncs it with anything that you've got logged into your iCloud account. So what it does, you can even text somebody using your digital storm, in my case, my digital storm and stuff. So that is how we do it. Now we're going to go ahead and test it. So I'm going to go over to new message and I'm going to type in Dennis at digitalstorm.io and I'm going to put test. Okay everyone you can tell that it has <coughs> sent I tried a couple different times and I've just clicked it see it's sent from my email address at uh, Outlook DS Vortex at Outlook to Dennis at digitalstorm.io so it is working that's how you do a uh, custom email address at Apple App Cloud Plus on any register, in this case, it's with Cloudflare.